wildly good over here. So let's wait for the stream to kind of come in, say hi to everybody, go through some of the data, look through some tickers, and get ourselves ready for market open, huh? All right, everybody. So we got, let's see here, Rogue Civilian, Rykak, Wade, Daily Taylor. Those are the faces that I see in here so far. You guys are going wild on the like button already. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a Friday. I feel like you guys always run it up on Fridays. Thank you. I like it. So, uh, yeah, these Tessie hedges are looking really good over here. Uh, my strike's 225, and it expires today. Actually, let me drag this out a little so you guys can see the prices. Let's see. There? We good? I think that you can see it now. Yeah, there you go. So, trading at about uh, 220.50 in the pre-market here, down about 6 7 bucks, 2.95% over here. So, these little Tessie hedges are looking good. And then the only really other big swing that I have open right now is this Uber that I'm basically all out of. So, looking at that, I mean, obviously, we still have TLT. Well, this has been a great week, guys. Great week with CPI. Again, there really wasn't much for us to do. We had some open positions. We hedged the open positions that we had. Um, and in this case, we were really, really spot on with what we were looking at there. Tesla already had a weak chart. CPI wasn't great. But the other charts that we were looking at to the long side were just so good that they weren't really getting that that drawdown off of those some of those CPI moves. So we were able to hit the down move on Tesla, continue up for, what, over 300% on Uber. I think that's what they closed at. I don't know, two something? Two something? Oh, 309 is what they closed at. So And then these Tessies are really going to print this morning here too. So we're going to have a good day, man. And then this week, this weekend's a big weekend, team. Well, we have that three-day weekend. Uh, I just finished uh, recording and editing all the Swing Trading Course videos for you guys. We're going to have the newsletter getting sent out to you guys too, preparing for what we have going into the next few weeks. I'm going to take a look at the charts, use the scanner uh, that you guys are all going to have access to by the end of this weekend. So it's going to be fun, man. Uh, do, 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 do. Another great day on the spot yesterday. Uh, Nature Barista, there you go, man. Uh, Tabasco, Dan the Man, Nate, what's up? Uh, Wreck it off, Netflix continue to break out. It might. I mean, Netflix was an interesting one because th there wasn't really any way to catch it. It's almost like the uh, the Affirm. Um, this one, eh, I mean, this is a bit of an interesting one because it gapped up to here, sold off back into the range, and then kind of, well, it gapped up, ripped, and then sold off into the range, and then came back. That's what that would look like. But, um, so... That's kind of what we're looking at here on Netflix. I don't really like this chart. This is not one of my favorites. I actually found another one yesterday that I actually found a little interesting. Fastly. This one's interesting to me. Hello. Hi. This one has my attention going into next week. I'm not going to do anything on it today, but this will be one that we talk about on uh, on the newsletter over there. So we'll be getting after that. Uh, the volume on TLT yesterday on the daily is interesting. I mean, that's some big buy-in coming up here at this range. So... We'll see. We'll see what wants to happen with this. It's a little bit. It's coming down into the red in the pre-market here, but nothing crazy. I think people are starting to back off their rate, uh, their rate cut expectations for March, which is completely fine. Completely fine. Michael Paso, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, dude, I'm looking for freaking day trades, man. I mean, I like, dude, I, like I've been looking this week and I just haven't found much. So, which is fine. I mean, again, less trades, more profits. That's exactly what we need to be looking for. Uh, there was nothing really yesterday that I was looking for, except for if we came back up to like this BJ key level or right into here and then retraced and then bounced, I would have been interested in that. But right around here was two o'clock, so we weren't touching any of that. So there was no time for this thing to retrace for us. Um, so, I mean, let's see what we get today. Uh, the PPI candle wasn't that crazy. So, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate going from whatever low this is to a high somewhere in here, play a retrace, and, and see what happens. But let's actually take a look at what the, the PPI data actually was. I haven't seen that yet. I was just watching how the market reacted to it, not actually what the data was. Oh, PPI year-over-year year, December actual was 1%, board versus 0.9 previous, estimated 1.3. Oh, so lower than expected there on PPI. Month-over-month uh, month was negative 0.1 versus zero previous, estimated 0.1. So that's good on PPI. Uh, U.S. core PPI month-over-month. Month. Wow, that was that was on, uh, under expectations too. So that was zero uh, actual versus zero previous, estimated 0.2. Uh, core PPI year over year. So that was core month over month. And then this is core year over year, 1.8 versus two previous estimated two. That's interesting. That's some interesting data there. I, I'd be very interested to see what PCE wants to come out as. Len thoughts? Isn't that home builders? That's home builders, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, see, I need like, I either need a better screener or I need like, 
Because, like, a lot, like, the vast majority of the things are popping up into the screener there, but it's not everything. So, again, that's why I go through every single weekend and go through all the 2,600 tickers in the, in the SPY, NASDAQ, and IWM. But I didn't see this one. I mean, this is interesting here. The weekly, actually, the weekly probably doesn't look great on this. That looks all right, man, on the weekly there. Like, that's a decent move here. Nice little consolidation on the weekly, and then boom. You're late on it, though. That's the problem. You're late on this one. That would be, That's the issue I see with that one. You're just late on it. So I wouldn't take that, but that was another good setup. Now would be a good time to insert ads. S screw off, YouTube. We're not doing that. I'd love to be able to sell the rest of this Tesla position below 220. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to, and I'm probably going to be selling these right at market open. So unless Tessie gets a giant knife candle at market open, which with the way that the ES is moving over here, I wouldn't expect that. But again, it's Tesla. The market has not liked this thing recently. I mean, the market's up right now. Not much, but again, with that PPI data, Tessie got zero help. If the PPI data came in hot, Tessie was going to Ralph 218, 250. Like, that's where Tessie was going there. If the P And I was kind of like, mm, this could be a really, really nasty trade if Tessie wants to do that. But it didn't. I mean, these 225 strikes are going to look good. We bought these around, I think it was 232.60. was right around where my entry was, right in here. No, I'm sorry. To, yeah, I think it was maybe... Hmm, I don't know. It was right in here, though. This is right where we were buying them. <laughs> All right, Uber, still have that. I mean, it's small, obviously, now, but... So, we'll see what happens with this. I'd like this thing to break above this range here, the uh, the 6350 area, 6360, and then get going to 64. That'd be fun. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter at this point. All, all that these trades are doing now is just adding further cash to the cash balance. That's all it is. Uh, Tessie will be good though. I just don't want it to get a giant fu candle to the upside at open. That would be annoying to me. They'd still be up nicely, but it would be annoying, you know, because it's already hanging out down here in the in the like the mid to low two twenties. So I'd like it to close down in there. Um, any other charts you guys are interested in? I mean, it, it, keep an eye out. Once you guys th go through that swing trading curriculum, these live streams are going to be a lot more valuable, I think, to everybody too. Because again, I can go through and look at a bunch of different tickers and find stuff. Uh, but again, well, like I'm not going to find everything. Like the SoFi, I missed. I didn't see that one. Um, so again, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be an absolute army over here very 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 soon. So I hope you guys are ready. It's gonna be fun. It's going to be fun. All right. What do we got? What are the... Any other... How's AMD looking? Because that one is kind of starting to set up here. It needs a couple more days, but... All right, Amanda. Yeah, AMD holding here kind of flat in pre-market, down about 37 cents, chilling at like 147.60. I like that. If this can flatline into the end of this week, maybe get one or two days of consolidation next week before a potential breakup, I'd love that. That would be great. Because then if you break these highs here on AMD, it's hunting all-time highs. That's what it's doing. Like, if AMD breaks one, what is this? 151? I mean, 164 is all-time highs. I don't think it would be that hard to get there within a two- or three-day period on AMD. But then you have an all-time high breakout, which then you're in uncharted territory, which is very fun. When you get into those all-time high breakouts, it would, like, if this was happening right under all-time highs, I this would be the only stock that I'm watching. Let's see here. Tessie chilling. Nature's Barista, you have a good day, buddy. Yeah, again, guys, make sure you guys are hitting that like button on the way in. We got the ankle threshold of 100. So if you guys hit it, you guys know what happens. You guys know what happens. Add button equals spy rip. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ES could give us something today. I'd love to get a little trade on a Friday here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, boy. 
right. Uh, CBOE Digital launches margined Bitcoin and Ether futures. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How long do you guys think it's going to take before they have zero data expiration on every single Bitcoin ETF? How long? A month? Two months? Six months? A year? Uh, two weeks? <laughs> how long do you guys think? Because I don't think it's going to be very long. All right. Here's another. Did we talk about this yesterday? The reason why these Bitcoin ETFs are, are making like are here in the first place. I tweeted this out yesterday, but Gary Gensler coming out and saying that they approved uh, the Bitcoin ETFs, but it is not an endorsement of Bitcoin is literally the same thing as a drug dealer selling you drugs and then going to teach a dare class. That's what that is. So what are they doing? Well, you have to think about um, how much money is being managed in the financial system. And this is literally all it is here. Like you're going to hear a lot of explanations where it's like, oh, boomers want to have exposure. The no, all those people don't know what they're talking about. Like, yeah, it might be a little bit of a reason for it, but that's not it. Here it is. Here's the reason for it. When you have a lot of money under management, obviously you're collecting fees on it. Now, some of those fees may be very small, a couple of basis points. Sometimes they're managing two and 20s, which is 2% of assets under management, 20% on the gain. Now, if your client comes to you and says, I want crypto exposure before this week, you were really unable to get fees on that unless you set up your fund as like a pure crypto fund and that's all you did. Now what they can do is throw their money into an ETF, protect them from any of those uh, exchanges basically going kaput, and then collect money on the fees by having then their clients have exposure to crypto. That's what it is. So there's two things, really. It's one, having diversified exposure to the crypto market by not having that concentration, even though... Even though you'd, I'd have to look at this to see where all of this Bitcoin is then going to be held, it, they better be taking self-custody of it or else it's, uh-oh, spaghetti -o on some of these ETFs. But that's one of the things. It's like, well, if you go through a period of time where one of these exchanges or one of these funds or one of these coins just like blows up, well, you're, you're going to have some losses, but you're going to be fine. You're not going to, it's not going to go to zero. So, and then they can collect their money on their fees still. That's what it is. It's for the FAs. It's not for <laughs> retail. Retail could just go buy it right now. It's not even for the boomers, really. Like it's, it's just people being like, "I heard about these crypto coins on the these internet meme coins," and that's what they're doing. They're like, "Oh, I want some exposure to it because it's just asset classes. That's all it is." So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But Gary Gensler and the SEC are a bunch of hypocrites. So. In, the, in like this case, in a lot of cases, when it comes to this new stuff. Like, well, all right, like you don't approve of it. Why? Well, because it's basically just d d going against the entire financial system because of inflation and all that stuff. What happens uh, to the government seized Bitcoin? Will it go back into circulation? N no, because they haven't really approved it. Like they don't approve of it yet. They just hold it. That's like the biggest scheme ever. They're just seizing Bitcoin and making billions. Like that's crazy. They're just like, oh, yeah, mine. Uh, AV go daily. Wayne, before I look at it, I'm really hoping that this stock has not made a giant move in one direction that you're trying to chase. I really hope. Now we're going to type it in on a different chart here. And let me take a look. If, you, if, you, if this is a good setup here, I'm going to be so happy. If it's a bad setup, I might have a like a aneurysm all right i'm gonna hit enter here i'm not looking at it yet here we go i'm about to look wayne you're getting closer buddy you are getting closer this is not completely correct but it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world now would i trade this no what i would want from here is consolidation but you are on the right track buddy there you go that is good so what I would want from here on AVGO is nice levels of like uh, period of consolidation in here. You got a nice move up, consolidated, broke to the downside. That would have been an interesting trade. Probably wouldn't have taken it though because it was just such an aggressive gap down. If it comes back up here, consolidates, you see balanced buyers and sellers. I would be interested to take that potentially up to that recent high. That's good. So that could be on the watch list for next week. You just you would just need to see some consolidation today, which I don't know if you're going to see. It's already up about 0.6% here, six bucks. Where's Tessie? All right, we're still good. Still good. Uber, down 19 cents. That's fine. Wayne, good job, bud. That's good. That is good. 
All right, folks. 15 minutes to go until the ding-ding. Here we go. Yeah, but I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, it would just have to set up. Like, that would be something that I could watch over the next week or so. I might have to be quick on this stress law. Thanks. No problem, buddy. No problem. I like that. I like that. That was a that was a decent one. You're learning. All right. Stress law. Tesla's just such a wild child. Like, remember yesterday when I was trying to get out, and then all of a sudden the prices moved drastically. I was like, "Come on, dude!" Like, I might set a limit order on this going into open, but then I'm not gonna have the screenshot on it. So. It's not a big position. I don't really care, but we'll see. It'll be up nicely. Like this, uh, I would expect that open this Tesla trade to be at least up 400%. That's my estimate right now. At least 400% if it holds right around this 220, 50, 220, area. That's my guess on the on the Tesla puts that I have. I know, oh, Tabasco Dave, if you're still kicking around in here, do you still have your Teslas? Because I don't know what expiration date you had, but I know you had the 230, I think it was the 232.50. So that's like, dude, 12 and a half bucks in the money. Ooh, there you go. I was willing to take more risk on mine just because they were hedges. Go deeper out of the money with them. Play that play that premium increase. But you have an interesting position there, pal. That could be a good one. Yeah, ES is coming up here. Started the overnight strat. Stop for one. What was that? Um, where was the close yesterday? Was that at 18? What's the open of this? It was like right here. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, you got hit on PP, uh, PPI, I think. Um, but yeah, the nine point stop. Yeah. You just got to risk appropriately. Like you could have some where like, where is it? There's like some giant ones. Um, and I don't know if Tyler's in here, but Tyler, I think I saw your question yesterday. I just haven't responded to it yet. It's like, do you avoid news? It's like, no, every day's included in it. Um, but that's an interesting one. That would be one that like you would just have a portfolio set up in that you just do it every day and don't really look at. You just like, you just go for it. Like, you're just like, whatever. Like, it's just market. It's not market neutral. I need a better way to describe this. It's like, it's it's not market neutral, but it's, it's a fun one. Like that one over time is a is a monster. Like last year, what was the point? I think it was three hundred something points last year. Traded really small. Yeah. Some of them are giant though. Like I've seen thirty point gain. Like they're big ones in there. You're hitting crazy risk ro Roblox. Uh, sold. Oh, you sold them at open yesterday. Mine was ten percent of the port, so he wasn't looking to hold them. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We can take a look at Roblox here too, Wayne. Dude, Wayne, Wayne, coming in hot, dude. There we go, buddy. Uh, yeah, I mean, so here's the deal on Roblox. This has made a really aggressive move. This is reminding me of Uber right here. You are at a nice little consolidation range before they bought this up previously. Now, it is hanging out at the bottom of this range here in the pre-market. So if this breaks to the downside, I actually wouldn't hate taking a downside trade on this. In these scenarios here where you see aggressive move up but a decently aggressive sell to the downside, you could almost play it either way, whichever way that it breaks. Uh, is there a significance different with gap fills on TLT than individual stocks? Uh, I don't know there, there, you could run some data on that, but I wouldn't, I don't really look at a lot of gaps anyway, but, uh, I would TLT is all macro driven. It's uh, like the first entry was based off of like the chart and where we were in terms of the, what the 10 year was, but overall that's just a straight macro play. Uh, but I don't hate this here. This is an interesting one. This reminds me of Uber. Like, if you look at Uber here, it's the same thing. Uber, consolidation, boom, right back to the upside. Uh, DBRG, we can take a look at that one. DBRG. I mean, guys, I know that, I know that, like, you guys are a little spoiled recently with, like, every single freaking trade that I've called out on the newsletter hitting, like, crazy. Like, everyone that breaks one of the levels, like, is going nuts. But, like, don't expect that all the time. Like, yeah, in the in good market conditions, that is going to happen. But, like, in that in the case of, like, uh, Roblox there, like, I don't even know if I'd trade that one. Like, I might, like, on either side. But it's not necessarily, like, an A, A plus setup. I would call that, like, B minus, honestly. Like, I like the consolidation. It's just if you have that range after the sell-off, the buyers and sellers are kind of still fighting it. 
Uh, this one, I don't, I wouldn't really do anything with this. Uh, REITs? I'm, yeah, I'm not trading REITs, but. Ralph, you looking at home builders and REITs today, bud? Remember if you're looking at there? Thank you. No problem, Grant. No problem, buddy. Yeah, guys, and remember, the Day Trading Mastery Course, the Zero Losing Months in 2023 strategy is linked at the top of the live chat. Everything from risk management, psychology, futures, options, little Forex in there. If you guys want to hop in there and, and add an amazing tool to your tool belt, there you guys go. Less trades, more profits. Looking for solid risk rewards like one to six, one to eight. They're absolutely filthy. Um, oh, yeah, and then there is that 30% uh, that off code too for those of you guys that are interested in that. It is STV30. Um, let me just throw the link in the live chat here for you guys. Those of you guys that may not be able to see the one pinned. Uh, so here you guys go here. And then the swing trading one is going to be out this weekend. I just have to upload all of the, uh, all the videos onto the, onto the platform. And then you guys are going to be good to go. Everybody that's already in the day trading mastery course, basically until this weekend. So you have until like now until this weekend, uh, to hop into the day trading mastery course because all of you guys are gonna get sixty percent off to the new one, to the to the swing trading one. And that one's done. I edited all the videos yesterday. That took forever, but it's fine. Bigger market move down the road. Okay, yeah, that's fair. All right, nine minutes to go until the ding ding. I'd love to see Tessie hang down in here and, and not, like, see, this is the problem. Just hold on, market. Just, like, relax for two seconds and let me get out of these Teslas and then we can have fun the rest of the day. That's all I want to do today. Just get out of Tesla. That's it. And then I'll probably continue holding Uber because it has two weeks to expiration now. And I'm already made it free and they're sitting up 300%. Easy money. And if it breaks that high, it's probably going to go boom, boom. So we'll see. Uh, and then, yeah, the, um, yeah, oh, yeah. So you, those of you guys that are on the newsletter too, after, so this weekend is going to be the last weekend that on the free newsletter, I'm sending out tickers. In the future, it's going to be sent to you guys uh, uh, for those of you guys that are in the swing trading uh, course. So the newsletter is going to shift to like pure macro in news. So then you guys on the, like you guys are going to get your own separate newsletter um, within that swing trading course. But again, it's a one-time fee. You're not paying every month for it or every year or anything. It's just one time. Uh, Uber. Uber lagging a little in the pre-market here. That's interesting. So yesterday when the market was down, Uber was really holding well and then kind of just ripped it open up to some of these crazy levels here. Uh, it's usually seen an indicator of a bigger move down the road. Yeah. No tickers for the day trading mastery course? No. Why would you need tickers in the day trading mastery course? If you're trading ES. I'll give you the ticker right now. It's ES. Like, or NQ. Like, it's ES. Like, there's no reason to, like, why would why would you need tickers in the day trading mastery course? That doesn't make any sense. It's the day trading course. We're trading futures. I'm like ES and maybe NQ every once in a while. There you go. There's your tickers. <laughs> All right, folks. Keep smacking that like button. Yes, relax a little bit here, bro. Let me get out of these Teslas first. Yeah, there's your tickers. I gave them to you. NQ, ES. There you go. <laughs> like... Fucking relax. All right, good. Get back down there. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom, I think. I feel like that was too much information, but, you know, I like to be open here with you guys, you know? I like to keep it I like to keep it personalized. Knowledge is always welcomed. Yeah, I mean, you're still going to get all the macro stuff on uh, on the newsletter. But, again, those of you guys in the Day Trading Mastery course are going to get 60% off to the Swing Trading course. So, you guys get the deal of a lifetime on that one. But, yeah, it's like tickers on the Day Trading one. Uh, yeah, ES. There you go. 
<laughs> You're welcome. They're the tickers. Oh, man. Five minutes to go until the ding ding. Tesla's been following IWM a lot more than ES recently. I think Tesla's just hated by the market now. People are just like freaking out about Elon. And then the news that's coming out with Tesla isn't, isn't helping them. But also, Tesla owns a lot of Bitcoin, too. So it's like, hey, guys, are we uh, are we just ignoring that over here? Cody! What's up, buddy? Spy to 500? Ooh, that would be aggressive. Airbnb? Wayne, are you calling out some tickers? The two tickers that you've called out so far, I'm happy about. Oh, Wayne. 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 I like it. I like it, Wayne. Yeah, you're doing good here, buddy. Yeah, a nice little consolidation day here. I mean, you could easily see a nice, like, one or two days of consolidation next week. Potential break to the upside, and you're targeting 149. Boom. Sorry for asking. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm just messing around. Wayne, I like it, buddy. Wayne, coming in hot this morning. All right, let's see. This might be this might be your thing, Wayne. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys would have a lot more success swing trading versus uh, versus day trading too, mainly because of your emotions and your inability to follow rules. That's really what it is. Like swing trading, it's it's. I was looking at this too. I think that I still would have been better off trading shares if I traded Uber. I don't think so, but like it's close. Because if you think about it, I'm up 300% ish over here and it's one to four risk to reward. Well, 300% I think is 4X, isn't it? It's the same thing. You could just trade shares. You're just tying up more capital. I mean, we talk about that a lot. Yes, does he go? Down, girl. Down, go. Sell to the floor. Tesla to zero. Just kidding. Tesla's not going to zero. All right. Let's see. We're learning. I like it. I like that you guys are learning over here. You want to look at Remax? Yeah, we can take a look at that. Remax Holdings. Ouchie. Yeah, no. I'm not, I mean, I'm not touching this, but just down, 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 down. Three minutes. All right, I got to get my phone out over here. Get ready for this. I got to get ready for these stress laws that are going to be up a lot at open. <laughs> yeah, so I think Sunday. That means I have to upload it today and tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so Sunday is probably the last day for you guys to hop into the, the day trading mastery course to get your 60% off. Saturday. Because so the newsletter goes out at noon. Once the newsletter's out, it's... You emailed me? Oh, let's see. Probably going to go five to six months out on a spy put, but not super posted itself. Well, I can't tell you what to do, Brian, but... Um... I mean, if it's, it depends on what your thesis is. Is it an overall hedge for longer term positions? Are you gambling in an options portfolio? Like, I don't know. Um, 3M, Wade with the tickers, buddy. I love it. I love it. This is, I think this is one. I think this one, pa. Ha <laughs> Wade. Wayne. Oh my God, buddy. Oh my God. You're finding the consolidations, dude. There we go, buddy. I love that. Uh, what's the swing uh, course base price going to be? It's probably going to be the same as the day trading one. Uh, it's probably going to be the same as the day trading one, but you're going to get... So whatever that is, take 60% off of that if you're already in the... So I think it's two ninety nine, dollars And then whatever the um, whatever the day trading course is... Or sorry. The, then you get 60% off of that. You ever play Banks? Uh, no, not really. Not really. And then, yeah, the day trading uh, one right now is uh 30% off with the STV 30 code. Zero losing months in 2023. All right, how much time we got left? Hold on. What, the, 30 seconds here. Wayne, I love you. There we go. Wayne calling out some sick tickers. I got to keep note of these because they're good. These are good. And I will get your, you will get your tickers. Um... I need Uber over here, and then Tessie. All right, we're about to get the ding-ding here. Whoa, Tessie slipped below 220. Ah, there we go. That's what I like. I'd love, see, again, I'd love to be able to sell these Tessies below 220. Just update the option chain quick so I can get out and don't have wide spreads. That's the goal here. All right, 413% on Tessies. All right, I got to get out of these. Hold on, the spreads suck. The spreads are horrendous. 
The spreads are awful. Let me see if I can get out of this. Order filled. Wow, I stole that. That was, I think, yeah, that was really good. Order filled. Yeah, I just wanted to get out quick on that. Uh, 400 something percent on those. My account is up 10% on the day. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's how we end a Friday. See, and now it's bouncing back up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right here. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Golf claps. Golf claps on the Tessie hedges for CPI. That's what we like. Drilled the Uber. Drilled the Teslas. That's what we do around here, man. I mean, the Ubers are only sitting up 262% now, but that's fine. Cash balance is looking like the most beautiful girl that you've ever seen in the bar. All right, let's see. Tesla, 225% on mine. There you go. Trend lines? Yeah, I, I, hate, I hate trend lines, dude. I just don't like them. Trend lines just, like, hurt my brain. This is different. Like, the people that, like... The people that teach it this way, like, they say, like, wait for volume spikes. And it's, like, that's the dumbest thing ever. That's just asking to be left behind. Like, there's a lot of, like, there's nuances to this that you got to understand. And, again, the other thing, too, is that if you look at a lot of, this is another interesting one. Um, sometimes when I have a lot of free time, I'll go watch interviews with, like, the former, like, U.S. investing champions. Um, and a lot of them trade similar styles to that. So I just put my own twist on it to make it better. Yeah, We're, we did great today, ladies and gentlemen. We did absolutely phenomenal. We may get a trade today on ES. I would hope so. I would hope so, man. Right to the Instagram story with that 412% Tassie. There we go. That's C, dude. Tyler, what up, buddy? How you doing? It's, where is Tesla? I mean, it can... Oh, 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 dude, look at that run on Tesla. Right back up to 221.80. Boom. Boom. That's why... I, this is exactly why I was saying I was like, don't glitch out and don't have super wide spreads because I, I have a spidey sense that they're going to do this to it. All right. Tesla, you can leave now. We're done with you. All right. Uber starting to pick up here. I like that. DM. Oh, yeah, Tyler, I'll answer that now. Yeah, no, you don't avoid the news. That strategy incorporates uh, every every day, except for rollover. Those are the one days that you don't trade. Rollover. The 645 wick. I don't know. I don't know. That was an interesting one. TLT flat. All right, let's see what we got here. Added to big wins. Yeah, back up to 295% on the Ubers. If you hit 225 again, you're back in puts. I'm done with Tesla. That was my CPI hedge. Absolutely killed it. Um, during news. Yeah, I mean, you have a stop. You're fine. Your stop is fine. Like, it's a nine-point stop. You just let it go. Like, actually, a lot of the gains come from news as well. Like, if you have a big move off of a CPI and things like that, like... Yeah, Tyler, it, like, it doesn't matter what the news is. It's just where do most of the market gains come from over time? This move looks better for retracements? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at today. So, a retrace down into, like, this area here. Right off of that, uh, right around 4,800, and then boom, back to the upside. That's what I'll be looking for. Uber, there we go, dude. Crushing it. We've already started to see it, too. One of the best things about what we're going to be doing with the uh, with that swing trading course is that all of you guys are going to be able to start looking at, at tickers, too. So it's not just going to be me, which is going to be great. And that's that should be out on Sunday. We should be good to go on Sunday. So you guys have until uh, basically tomorrow to use that 30% off code for the day trading mastery course to be able to get the 60% off for the uh, 
the swing trading one all right yes what do you want to do here you coming back up to a couple of these levels over here pal let's see what we got uh tally up a little bit Te look at that bro look at that tesla sell absolutely perfect you would you'd have gained almost 50 points with that strat today uh would you have i mean it's a nine point stop we can look at it because it's sell it open i don't think you would have because it's at 1800 because it's not at four it's at six so what's the mm, 11 where did this go to no you're stopped out on it no that would have been a stop on it it's like 50 50 like from what i've seen in the data well in 2023 it's like 50 50 but the risk to rewards epic that's a fun one you don't have to trade that one you don't even have to do anything with it it's just a fun thing to know it's like that is how that is where most of the gains in the market come from is the overnight trading session is there a way to scan for those uh which one what are you talking about daily taylor port is up 18 percent at a boy scalp tesla on the way up you were spot on yeah it was see like i just didn't like like you could just see it like es was running back to the upside tessie was look at that dude tesla is now four dollars higher from where we sold it just now those contracts would have been 400 something percent which is what i sold them at versus maybe a 200 so uh the swing trade setups yeah there is a way for to scan for them and i i, I give you guys the scanner and the settings of like the screener on trading view that i use um in the swing trading course um again it's not going to cover everything but it's going to give you a good start like if the market conditions are good it's probably going to give you five or six solid tickers to look at and then i go through all of like the s p 500 nasdaq and iwm to hunt for other ones um because some of them just don't they don't meet the criteria again you can't put criteria in to show you every single one but you're gonna it's gonna filter out a lot of things and it's a really easy way for you to just be able to like see a few of them like mara paypal DraftKings pops up in there a lot yeah that tessie was perfect ubers are looking good what are the ubers sitting up right now 338 percent boom dude boom tag puts right at 225 on tesla scalping more i that's a good trade i don't i don't want any of that uh then just reviewing charts yeah it's tough it's it's tough because once i saw a lot of these i was like all right i need to build a scanner I was trying it on Finviz too. Like I was trying to like figure out because Finviz you can you can do a lot of things on there too. It's just the tickers it was spitting out were just garbage. I was like I don't like this. Like the ones at least the ones on TradingView are solid. But we'll see. Uber Uber SPX all time high. Nice. 365% on the Ubers. Dude, what a day we are having over here. What a day. Up almost 11% on the account today. That's what we like, baby. That's what we like. Give me my money. Give me my money. Where's this low? 92. This is a big one. I just hope it doesn't run too much to be outside our uh, our tradable range. That's what I'm hoping for. If it, if the risk is more than 4.75 points, you can't take it. It's just too much. Mark P, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I know. I feel like a lot of people are now filtering back in now that we've been streaming a lot more. Um, it's starting to show up on some people's homepages. So, yeah, Mark P, welcome back, man. And, again, for all you guys sitting in here right now that, that have just came back, again, make sure you hit that like button on the stream here. It makes it easy, easier for you guys to come back if that's what you want to do. Telly doing all right. Tessie, I mean, not much else to say on this thing. I mean, we could look at – I kind of want to look at AMD over here instead just because this thing is potentially setting up for a really nice break to the upside, potentially getting to those all-time highs at like 164, 165 um i'd love to see that i think amd is gonna hit all-time highs this year uh is it gonna stay there i don't know but that's definitely something that's on the table uh uber looking phenomenal over here if we can get up through uh 64 oh boy those contracts are gonna be ripping ripping
like they're already up 360 something percent now yeah 350 361 they're just kind of flickering here good morning and japan how you doing you got a rejection from the bj key level yeah that's fine uber with a nice pop there that probably helped the contracts a little bit mine are in the money now i had the 63 so these are up yeah 370 percent. so going dollar for dollar now bought these contracts at 45 cents they're at 213 that's how we do it around here man i can't wait oh my god oh uber oh uber Oh, baby. That's what we like, dude. Keep it going, man. Yeah, I mean, it's start... Mm, we'll see. This isn't clear rejection yet. This thing could easily push through still. It didn't come up wick hard off of it yet. Uber. 390. I want to see these Ubers get above uh, 400% here. 397. Come on, baby. 400. There we go. 400 flat. 401. Dude, my phone is just filled with Weeble screenshots. It's insane. What are we up on the account now today? 11.5%. That's what we like. That's what we like. Dude, my account's up. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Whoa, 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 Uber. Whoa. There we go. 450%. That's why they call me the Swing King, baby. That's what they call me. I don't call me that. That's just what they say. <laughs> I mean, we could we could get out of these here. Should I? I don't know. You were running through that level. I think we should take it. I think we should take it. 450% on the Ubers. End off a good Friday. Let's see if I can get a good fill on this. What are the what's the oh the spreads are kind of wide. Uh, okay, let me see if I can get something here. Yeah, the spreads suck. So if I can't get a fill here really quick, I'm just not going to sell them. But I kind of want to. Come on, take it. Take it all. Take it. Take it. All right, we're canceling that. That's nonsense. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Let me out. Oh, that stepped up a little bit there. Let me see if I can get that. That I think I can get. Yeah, order filled. There we go. That was right around 400% sales on the Ubers. That was good. All right. Keys in the bowl. What's that mean? What does that mean? Well, so now we're kind of done. We just hit a 400% Uber and a 400% Tesla. So, hmm, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, what do you guys want to do? I don't. I mean, that now I'm just looking for uh, forward to like next week. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. What? Uh, oh, I know what we got to do. We got to look for our our ES day trade today. Make like five six grand on that. That'd be fun. Per account. <laughs> oh baby, there we go. Yeah, so the uh, the swing course is going to be out for you guys this weekend. I can't wait for you guys to see that. It's going to be a good one. And then here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Here's the problem. So, well, no problem. But for those of you guys that aren't in the uh, day trading one, you're only going to be getting 30% off to it. So, but there will be a bundle. Uh, no losing months for the day trading mastery course strategy. Yeah. Well, January technically right now is red on it. So we're going to need a good trade on that one to, to pump us back up. But we want that 13th winning month in a row. That's what we want. We want to keep the streak alive. All right. We don't even need Uber over here anymore. I just, drilling these trades guys 
uh, what's the swing course going to run? It's going to be the same price as the day trading mastery course. But remember, those of you guys that are already in that one, again, I'm not going to make you pay twice. I think that's rude. So you guys get 60% off. Everybody in the public is going to get 30. If you buy both of them at once, there will be a deal for that too. For those of you guys that don't have either of them right now. Tally coming up. But yeah, I mean, I've been sending you guys these tickers. Uber wasn't one of them, but just because I f we found it this like on Monday. But um, I've been sending you guys these tickers every single week on the free newsletter. Like you guys have had them. That whisper was creepy. Uh, yes, Blue Arrow. That's a separate one. And then that's it. Then we'll have those two. The the day trade master one. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So you guys are good for the sixty percent off. There you go. So again, same email nonsense. If you don't get the email on Sunday when I release it, um, message me. I know which one of you guys are in there or not. I'd have to go through a list, but like, I can figure it out. You just gotta send me what your email is. This is nice here. I like how TLT is looking. This volume yesterday and then popping back up here, kind of breaking a little trend here. I kind of like that. Not for like a trade, but just like overall how this chart looks. PayPal getting close to breaking out. Mm, is it now that would be sexy Ooh, i mean technically that is breaking so like when it does this when it shoots up wicks around here sometimes i use these levels right here like 6150 so if you wanted to do it i'm not maybe i will but probably not um this is what i would look at you'd basically have it from like wherever this is here so it broke but then you'd go stop below here and then you'd look for this so you technically have a seven to one risk to reward here but it's tight that's what i would look for so i don't hate that um the only issue is this i don't really like that coming down 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 i would like to see it start spiking Where's he at? I don't like. I don't really want to start buying calls when this is doing this, but I wouldn't hate it. Like PayPal's one that, like, if you look at this thing, I think we were talking about this thing on the weekly, weren't we? A little bit. It's not really. Okay, if this wasn't one of them then, because that doesn't look even remotely close to what I would look for on the weekly. But where is this? Sixty-three. The range is really tight here too. Even though the risk to reward is really good, the range is super tight. So in that case. Again, you guys will see this. If this range is super tight, maybe I'll take shorter expiration um, and size it down. Like, yeah, you're look, you're still looking for 2 bucks on PayPal, 4%, which is big, but I don't know. Not in it. Thoughts on Mara? No thoughts on Mara. I don't, I don't, I'm not touching that right now. I, that thing's going to need a, a couple of months to, to cool down for me to even to want to consider going near it. Um, remember, the last Meritrade that we hit for 600% that we were talking about on the newsletter for like three weeks took me two months to watch. Like we drew we drew what was going to happen on Mera in September right before I left and took my stream break um, and then came back and that's when we were drilling it like two months later. Baba looking nice? We can take a look at Baba. Baba coming up off those lows. I like that. Um, but again, I think in this overall Baba trade here for me, um, I want to wait for this thing to actually set up like how we would typically look at it. I mean, I was buying this thing down in here. Uh, had a nice little run up. I ended up selling it, I think, here for a tiny loss. I was looking for it to get up to here, this purple line, and it just didn't. So, like, that's okay. Like, I don't need to hit all of them. And I'm not going to hit all of them. But the ones that we do hit are giant. All right, guys, we got about 11 minutes until 10. Do we have any data coming out at 10 today? I feel like we would. Oh, we got Cash Cardi speaking today. Mr. Neil Cash Cardi. You guys should look into his role in 2008 when he was working at the, at the Treasury. Oh, man. Like, AMD is probably top of the list going into next week. That's, I mean... If it can break above that high that you these that, that double top you see here, it's boom boom season, I think. 
like big boom season. So what do we got? We are we are looking good here, ladies and gentlemen. Palantir poke through 17. Is it starting to set up? Because that thing just looked very, very, very icky on the daily when I looked at it this morning. It's still not looking great here. Like, yeah, it is running back up, but what does that look like? Drop hard. Slowly comes back up for a potential move back down. That's how I'm viewing it right now. That's how I'm looking at it. Um, but, 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 nice rejection here at this BJ key level up ahead. So let's see if we can get through. If it does, it'll probably use it as a level of support if it comes back to the downside after that. Uh, we could be looking at our level down in here. Hold on. Let me see if I can guess the... All right. Let's play the... Stop it. Uh, let's play the game again. Let's play the guess the entry level. Uh, what is this? 91. 36. Hold on. Mm. I'm going to go. All right. Here's my guess. Here's my guess, everybody. Nah, I think it's higher than this. I think it's hot. These wicks usually get me. The wicks usually get me. Let's go. Let's go 4806.50. That's my guess. Can you? Oh, yeah. I can adjust the screen. Sorry. This is ES here. I'll do it on all of them. 480650 is my guess. I like this game. We got it spot on last time. Was I close? 480475. Damn, it was close. The wit when it wicks like that, it always messes with me. I was close though. I was within within two points there. That should count as a win if I'm within two points of just guessing the entry. That's close, man. Uh, I've got no idea, Scar. I'm not. I'm not over there. Let's see. Four eight zero four fifty. I was close. Come on, man. I was close. Ask her, you're gonna you're gonna have to just ask them about that. Do 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 Yeah, there's nothing I mean the only thing that I'd actually kinda like to take is PayPal, but that's not really enough for me here. I just I don't think I'm gonna take this one. I'd probably wait, honestly. I'd probably wait. This one I like. Amanda over here is my... My, uh, whatchamacallit, my favorite one. Going into next week. Let's see. Let's see. Tally up half a percent. I like that. Dude, we have... We have a lot of things to play with over here. This is going to be fun. Oh, swing season. Oxy long. You can take a look at that. No. No. What strategy are you... What are you looking for for this? This is, this is just sell off, pop back to the upside. Just selling off here. I don't... I wouldn't touch this. Oxy doesn't really move the way that we would want it to. Like, I can't even find, like, maybe this. This. Nah, okay. Oxy does move nicely, but this is just downtrend. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to touch this here. That's just me, though. That doesn't follow what I'm looking for. 
nice rejection from that BJ key level here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Tesla 225 again. You're feeling greedy with the scalps today? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm, do I'm done with Tessie. I, like, 400% on Tesla. There's, there's no reason for me to try to go back in and hit some more. Like, why? Why bother? Up, like... Now I'm only sitting up, like, 10% of the day, which is fine. But um, just because, like, some of the other positions are just flickering around. Uh, have some widespreads, have more time on them. But, again... There's not really much I need to do today. Done. Just wait for the day trade. Just manage the futures accounts. See if we can pop back into the green on the uh, on the futures trades. And even if not, like even if this came down and stopped me out here, I mean, the you I probably have like two or three more after that, and then hit a winner or it's still green. That's why the risk to reward on this strategy is is so powerful. It's like that's how it has zero losing months in 2023. It's just the risk to reward is just so nasty. TSM. I like that. That's not bad. Here's the issue, though. Here, here would be the issue that you see. Depending on where the risk ends up at, like let's say it's a break above here and your risk, let's just say it's at the bottom of this candle here. And you're targeting up here. Look at the risk to reward. That's not great. A one to one point three two. That's not great, man. I mean, you'd have to. You would actually have to target this to make it make sense. That right there. So then it's one to two, which is all right. But like, even it. So then, then let's say it were to happen Monday, and let's say it's shorter here. Then you're looking at four to one or one to four. Then down up at here, it's one to two. So it really depends on where your risk is and, and where you're willing to size. Um. So, yeah, but that like again, you guys could just you guys will see it in the in the videos. It's like it's the same if you're sizing your positions appropriately with options and picking the right expiration dates and strikes. The only reason why you would ever want to trade options is that you want to tie up less capital in the trades. That's it. Just so that you can have more opportunity. Now, is that always smart? No. Because let's say that there's 10 good opportunities. You have 10% of your portfolio at risk if you're risking 1%. If you're risking 2, you have 20. That's way too much. But if you're trading shares, you really only probably are going to be able to take three or four trades at the max, have three or four open positions open if you're not using leverage, which you probably don't ever need to. Unless like it's it's such tight, 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 tight risk, which you wouldn't want to do anyway because you could get wicked out. So good point. Yeah, it just it just depends when it does it. Like I don't think it's doing this today. So you would probably get option number two, and you could target this, 105. Yes, slip, slip. I bet your testies are doing all right here, Ralph. I bet your testies are doing all right. It's slipping here. The thing is, I want to get it recorded. That's the issue. I want to get this recorded. Because I haven't been able to post a video in freaking forever. Because I took that, like, I was just on vacation for, like, what? Like, basically all of December and some of January. Yes, don't you do it here. Let's see if it uses this BJ key level as a area of support. If it doesn't, uh oh, spaghetti. You still got twenty points lower though. Just record it on stream. You can't. It looks silly. Come on, don't don't do this to me. <laughs> Ah! No! 
All right, let's see. We got we got this candle. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry for the language. It's still got a long way to go. Like it's got to come down to like here. But if it hit, all right. I think I gotta go. <laughs> I might have to hold on. I don't know. I don't know. Is he gonna do it for us? I don't know. It's a Friday too. We already nailed all those great trades. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Little little Yeah, you need it vertical. Hold on. I'm trying to give this a minute here. Because it literally could just be doing this little random sell-off and then bounce around for like two hours. And then I'm going to sit here feeling like a dumb dumb for can't, for ending the stream early to go trade and just sit here and wait for it. See? Oh, it's bouncing a little. Don't worry, it has to be all recorded for you. Well, go for it, Tyler. You can record it all you like. Let's see. All right. Let's see. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, again, you guys have until tomorrow uh, to use that 30% off code uh, to the Day Trading Mastery course there. So I'll throw the link in here. One last time for you guys that need to uh, up 11% on the port. There you go. Yeah, this one's, this one's getting a little too close for comfort for me because I got to adjust a lot of things. So there's that link there. The code, the 30% the off code is uh, STV30. So I gotta go make some money, guys. I gotta go. I gotta go make some money, and I haven't been able to post a video in forever. The algorithms on all there are gonna hate me. So there you guys go. I will see you guys later. Another amazing week over here. Again, the swings have been absolutely printing. You guys will see uh, a lot more of that real soon. A lot more of those swings coming in real soon. So team, I will see you guys later. Peace.